Quantum Fireworks. Fireworks, Rodel Quantum. On a dark, silent, and starless night, a small light ignited rocking right towards the sky. It momentarily stopped, and then, boom! Boom, boom, boom! <laughs> the bombarding sound produced a fountain of breathtaking lights. Different colors, different spectrum, different style. That, Mr. Compass Chair, Ladies and gentlemen, is the amazing fireworks display. Have you ever tried seeing one? Yes. Great! It was actually a tradition in my hometown to play with fireworks on special occasions. It was really so part of who we are. That is why I'm so fascinated with fireworks. Because vivid memories of my family, my friends, and my journey to life flashes right before my eyes in each part across the sky. It all started about my parents simply on bees from boy and colors when my mother was still carrying me in her womb. And she prayed to have the first born son. And I, I was sad and sent because they felt that fireworks brought fireworks in their lives. Really? But they're correct, right? Okay, don't answer that. <laughs> As I was growing up, they thought that I would just be a mere fire crack. But they were wrong. Because I, I was a bomb! A bomb that would destroy anything I touched. Toys, electronic gadgets, chinawares. I broke them all. <laughs> because of that, my parents in the tough decision. They swore, Oh my God, Rodel, I'm gonna do my best to mold you for you to become a better man. Oh boy, you should have seen them. They all look like beaten horses as they age. I must have been more than a bomb, a nuclear bomb. <laughs> years and years passed by, I had a number of academic and professional success. You might not have everything in life, but I felt that my parents told me so well for me to become a man of great wisdom and values. Top of the class, licensed chemical engineer, got a great job, finished a marathon. Oh, I even won in a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> they were so proud. And I was so fat. <laughs> but for me, I was at the top of the world booming. Powerful in my own right, exploding. But all of it, all of it just died down in a split of second when my father passed away, followed by my mother, just a few years after. I was angry, in denial, why? I don't understand. Fear, loneliness, depression. It was for me a total darkness like fireworks that faded. I turned blind. I tried walking, but I stumbled. I fell in the path of misery. So, but in the lowest point of my life, thankfully, someone grabbed me in my arm and lifted me up. And then I saw lanterns lighting up one by one. I thought it's over. But as I tried to clear my vision and open my eyes, I realized these are the people I know. These are my friends trying to resuscitate the remaining fire in me. They have supported me until once again that fire became a blaze. And so my journey to life continues. Trying different things, improving my individuality. And somewhere along the road, I met a lot of friends. And somehow, they touch my life, and me touching this. Today, I'm still fascinated with fireworks, but they just have a different perspective about it, because I feel that these are comparable to the moments of our lives. 
It may be small in the dots, like our daily routines, but at times, it could be booming, loud and huge. Success. It may momentarily stop, because we have failures, but it can go back again with a big bang, which is another success. There are other fireworks that you wouldn't really even recognize. What happened to that one? Our broken dreams. But there are some that as if they were like drawn in heaven, like stars that twinkle. And just like a man's life, a victory because of a well-laid plan. What kind of fireworks do you possess right now? Whatever it is, you just need to remember three people in your life. First is the creator. The person who molded gunpowder to be the most perfect, if not the most beautiful fireworks for their eyes to see. Our parents, who will always feel responsible for who we are. Next is the igniter. These are the people who lights up the firecracker to soar up in the air. Our friends and loved ones who will never stop supporting us. Finally, the viewers. These are just the people who come and go. Others would be annoyed because we have shined differently, but there are some who would just love to see and see us shine. Ladies and gentlemen, in the end, all the lights will fade and the flickering dust will disappear. The peace will end and people will all leave and can make once again the night to be dark and silent. Just like our fame. Just like our success. However, you have a mission to accomplish. For I encourage you to be that firecracker that your creator and igniter will be proud of. 